So we're gonna be running through Dan and Shay's and Justin Bieber's 10,000 hours. It starts with a G chord, capo on three. So if you don't know your G chord, it looks like this, okay? And we're just gonna go down, and then we're gonna do a chuck. And if you've never done a chuck before, what's happening is at the same time that your skin is hitting the guitar, your pick is too, so you get this nice percussive sound. So it would sound like this, it'd be down, chuck, down, chuck. So together it'd be, and then it becomes an up strum on a G slash B. So it'd be. And then it does another chuck on four. So the count would be, and I'll just do it on a mute. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. So it'd sound like this. Okay, that's the first measure. Second measure starts on a C, and it's gonna go down, up on a C, and then a chuck. So, and then the up strum is gonna become a G. So it'd sound like this. And then on beat four, it's gonna end with one more chuck. So the verse only really has two measures that repeat three times in a row, so it's six measures total. And then it has a little bit of a change at the end. So it's gonna, the first six measures are gonna sound like this. After those measures, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go from a G to an E minor seven. Now, the way we have it written on the tab is an E minor seven like this. Um, a richer sounding E minor seven would sound like this. Uh, second fret, second fret, open, third fret. Okay? So they're both the exact same chord makeup. They're just fretted differently and have different sounds because of that. So G, E minor seven, up, mute or Chuck, I should say. Now, the C is gonna come back. Yep. And the only difference on there is we don't have a Chuck at the end of it, okay? The chorus uses the exact same chords, starting on a G, going to an E minor seven, C, and then G. So let's go over the rhythm of that. So the G is gonna be down, up. The E minor seven is gonna be an up, up, down, up. So let's play that measure only nice and slow from the G. Down, up, up. Up, down, up, okay? And then a C, down, down, and then up on a G. Up, down, up. So that, that measure set, those two measures right there is gonna repeat four times total uh, in the chorus. Here's where it's gonna change. So it's gonna go to a G, down, up, and then a chuck. So down, up, chuck, E minor seven. Do it again. And that's that whole measure. And then it's gonna go to a C, down, up, and then up on a G, down. So I will go through the entire chorus nice and slow. Two, three, four. Change. Okay, let's look at the bridge. The bridge has a B minor in it. Um, the easy way of playing B minor would be fifth string, second fret, and third string, second fret. The way that it's written on the tab would actually have another second fret on the first string. So you can play it either way. I mean, the, the second fret on the first string makes it sound a little bit nicer and puts that F sharp in there, so it helps kind of balance it out. Strum pattern uh, is down, up, 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 down, up, and it'll be that same for the C. And all it's doing is going B minor, C, B minor, C. I'll play it nice and slow. Two, three, four, down, up, 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 down, up, C. B minor, C. And then a full measure of rest. All right, I'll try it full speed. One, two, three, four. measure of rest and then it's going to go into the chorus one two three four and then in 
this course actually repeats that a little bit more than the other ones, but that should give you guys enough to be able to work on it. Have any questions, text me or post on our Instagram or Facebook. Thank you.